Hey, yard people, how you doing? It's Rob here with Yardman LLC. I wanted to explain how I water my grass and flowers and such without having underground irrigation. So let's get right into that. The reason I'm doing this is because I've got clients, especially on base, that do not have underground irrigation either. And um, we, uh, uh, we wanna assist them with some ideas on how to water their grass conveniently. So, because I don't have underground irrigation, what I do is each day for about one or 200 hours, I just come out here and I, I spray the grass. And as you can see, I've got it on the mist. So I do this for the whole property about 50 times. It takes me about 200 hours a day. And I really get things watering grass greens up and everything's going good so obviously I'm kidding I like to be funny so that was my joke today is Sunday I uh, just got back from church it is the 28th of July this is video number four um, I'm gonna make this one a lot shorter than the last one um, and I'm gonna talk about what happened with the audio on video number three I'll do that real quick so I had the GoPro Hero 7 Black connected to this JAWS and I also had the dive housing on there. Well, as I would, or, as I would move the camera and even move the, the housing, a lot of uh, feedback or uh, distortion was happening and it made for some uh, awful audio in certain parts of the video. Um, so I apologize about that. I'm not gonna do that again. Um, it would have been better with a microphone, let's say, but I don't think you can have a microphone easily while having this dive housing on. So these are two separate units anyways. Um, pretty cool. Maybe I'll put a link in the description because I do like these. But uh, I also had a protective cover over this uh, lens housing. And uh, because it was brand new, I hadn't peeled it off yet. I didn't realize that until I was done shooting. Now let's get into what I use for watering my yard here on base. <clears throat> I guess I'll just sit down on the ground. I'm gonna try to make this be less than, uh, well, about 10 minutes. So I'm in two and a half minutes already. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I did is I realized that I don't wanna be manually watering on a daily basis, but I do wanna have green grass and pretty flowers. So, uh, of course, I decided to go with a timer. Now, I bought this at Lowe's, and it, this is a Beehive Smart Hose Faucet Timer with Wi-Fi Hub. Now, the, the Wi-Fi Hub looks like uh, uh, a little thumb drive that you would put into a computer. Anyways, it doesn't go into a computer, but it does plug in somewhere in your house, and you'll link that with your Wi-Fi system in your house, and you'll eventually be able to control it with a smartphone. Okay, so here's the timer. Um, it runs off of batteries, and uh, these are rechargeable batteries. And the app, once you install it on your phone, tells you the, the, the battery life that you've got left in these batteries, so that's kind of cool. Um, in a nutshell, this just makes it so I can turn my water off and on from inside my house or anywhere on the planet, as long as I have a smartphone that's uh, uh, got a Wi-Fi connection and uh, that allows me to be lazy really what it's doing is it's allowing me to um, have my water have my grass and yard watered on a regular basis uh, without me having to think about it you set it and forget it now before I even wake up my yard is already watered and I, I do have uh, out there by the tree I've got a, um, uh, a rain gauge I water for approximately 45 minutes a day uh, and I'm getting an inch and three quarters to an inch and a half of rain a week. I'm sorry, of water a week. So my yard's getting watered. What I might end up doing is switching that to two to three days of watering, uh, maybe twice as long. So I'm still getting, let's say, an inch and a half of water a week. Um, but anyways, so this timer gets plugged right into your, your wall, your faucet outside, um, and then you'll connect your hose out to this end. So this is connected to the house. Uh, you could have a lead on it if you want, a leader hose. 
um, and then you plug your hose into here, screw your hose into here. And once you have set the app up, you can control it with your smartphone. Um, and that's been really convenient for me. Now, if you want to get three or four timers, you don't need to get three or four hubs. The one hub is good for, I don't know, at least four different stations. I, it could, I don't know what the max is. I'll look it up before I, before I put this on YouTube. Anyways, if you want additional timers without the expense of the hub as well, after you've already got one hub, you can buy additional timers. Um, and this is a separate purchase. Now, I think this with the hub was about 70 bucks. And uh, uh, the hub, it's, or the, the timer itself is about 35 or 40. Um, I, bought the, I bought the extra timers, I think I bought them on Amazon for 35 or 40 bucks. So I also use um, the Zero G hose because it's, it's pretty flexible and it's very lightweight. So if you're dragging a hose around, it's, uh, it's lightweight and it's got a really good warranty on these hoses. I bought these at Lowe's as well. And what I did is I added quick disconnects. So here's the quick disconnects that I got again at Lowe's. Home Depot sells them as well. And in short, so this is what it looks like. This is the, the male and female end uh, uh, kit. So this is what it looks like if I had them separated and not together like that. So you'll plug this onto your hose. You'll screw this into the bottom of, let's say, your timer. And this one's already got one on here. And it's easy to just snap something in or snap something out of your hose uh, as you need to. Now, I do disconnect things a lot. So, for instance, if I uh, want to unplug one thing and put my hand uh, uh, watering tool, uh, I just I use the quick disconnect. Um, I've also got one of these on my mower deck, so when I wash out the deck, it's real easy. Um, you can get those uh, pick, but you can use whatever you want. This is what I use, and it's it's been working. I'm, I've got the it's almost August. My grass is green and the flowers are doing great. Um, I'm not not wanting to brag, but what I do want to do is assist uh, clients and just other people on on uh, ideas for uh, water in their yard. If we don't have underground irrigation systems with uh, with even timers or control systems set up to um, to water your yard for you. Um, it's, it, I know in our busy lives, it can be difficult to regularly water your yard uh, manually with, uh, you turn on the hose and you, you use something like this. Um, you won't be as consistent unless you don't have a busy schedule. So we've got this plugged into the wall. I've then got the, the hose connected to the timer. I've got the app set up on my phone everything is up and running everything being the hub and this timer and the phone app well i've then got the hose plugged into uh, one of these oscillating uh, sprinklers and i can adjust how far uh, it goes it, i can just do half a yard uh, or i can just have it completely shooting straight up so you adjust it with these thumb thumb controls um, got this at lowe's as well it's got some weight to it so it's heavy it's not going to easily flip over um, it's called the, uh, the, it's the Orbit brand, Max, uh, built to last, large yard. Um, this is about 30 bucks, um, and I've got four of them around the house. And with the, the timers, I've got four or five of those, and uh, two hubs. I've got one hub for the front and one hub for the back, and they're in different parts of the house. The hubs are near the timers, because if you get the hub too far, or the timer too far away from the hub, uh, you'll lose the connection and it uh, won't work for you. I haven't had that problem because I've got two hubs and my, the hubs are close enough to the timers. Hubs are on the inside of the house, the timers are on the outside of the house. This hose that I'm using, uh, again, 50 foot, I like it. I've got some larger ones or longer ones here at the house. And that's it. See, told you short video. It's been nine and a half minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the sprinkler system now so you can see how it works. And then we'll uh, go ahead and upload this video, and hopefully it's uh, helpful to everybody. So here's the, let me get up closer so you can see the app. And I'm, I know the audio is better today. So I'm just going to change this. Oh, here's the, here's the front of the house. So I've got the, uh, the sprinkler 
the oscillating sprinkler here. It's on a milk can. I've uh, zip tied it into place. I've got it adjusted to how I want it. I don't want it to be spraying too far back on the house. So that works great for me. Quick disconnect. I've got the hose and it's going back here. And this is where I have, you see the timer there. Let's walk back here. So here's the hose we just looked at, this one. It's going into the timer and it's going into a uh, brass connection. Well, anyways, uh, this, is, and this, is, uh, this is charged, so the water's on, there's no leaks, and it's ready to go. As soon as I open up the app and I activate the front yard, it'll kick that thing on and we'll start seeing water come out of the sprinkler. Now, let's get to uh, some better lighting and we'll go to front yard so i've got front lawn so tomorrow it'll be getting watering at zero five so what we're going to do is we're just going to manually I'm trying to do this with two hands with one hand here so manually water let's just set it for 10 minutes and then we'll kill the video so it's starting to water watch this it's going to kick on and we might get so that's what it looks like and there it goes so that's set up on a timer and my yard gets watered before I even wake up. So that's it. Now I can turn it off just as easily. Stop. See? I want to turn off. It's pretty simple. I've got more than one of these, like I said, set up around the house. I've got four of them. And it keeps my yard watered uh, so it's not dry and crunchy. And I've got my rain gauge out here, as I mentioned, that uh, if I don't need to measure it every day, but if we do get a lot of rain, I, I can check and see how much rain we got. And um, that's it. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and enjoy your week. Bye. And I, I hope you like the, the uh, water bottle joke of how I water the yard. Bye.